everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at My Name Is Not Chuck or for short Chuck. Now before this video starts I would like to make two announcements. One, you may have seen me review both these cancel cars. Outback Miles Axelrod right here and Amira Revsk on the left. I have yet to change the title on Amira's video. I will change that very soon. And Outback Miles Axelrod, he's also a very cool diecast. I did a video on him, but they were both cancelled. Um, Miles was a cancelled Super Chase for 2016, and Amira was a cancelled single for 2017. I was able to get my hands on them from China. And I did actually order, earlier today, I ordered a third cancelled car. It should be here in a, in a few days, hopefully. And I will be definitely, and I'll, excuse me, I will definitely be doing a review on it. Second, I would like to do some sort of special video soon. It'll probably be such a, something such as like a Q&A, possibly room tour. I'd prefer to do a QA. and a I've always wanted to do one, so if you have any questions you want to ask me, feel free to ask me any question, and I'll try my best to answer it. I'm, I'm, I am assuming I will see a lot of questions, such as like, will you do a face reveal? Will you do a name reveal? Um, go ahead and comment that if you want to, but I would prefer if you would comment um, different things. I'm assuming I'll get quite a few comments saying that, and I would like to have that video go a little bit longer than my usual videos. But enough about me and my um, stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of my other things. My name is not Chuck, or Chuck for short. Now, this was suggested by Totally Thomas and Friends back a very long time ago, almost a year. I'm sorry if you're watching this. I have completely, um, I have remembered. I just can't find the time to do it. Now, Chuck is most famous for his one scene in the Cars 1 movie. Um, I'll try to make a little reenactment here. Where he is, uh, working on McQueen after the race. And he's, uh, getting interviewed by Corey Turbowitz. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, there's someone who's trying to get, like, a photo. Let's use, a. Uh, Let's use Amira since she's kind of similar, and um, I believe uh, the um, the cameraman who was also a um, cancelled release for 2018. I mean, excuse me, 2017. He looked very awesome. He's gonna be deluxe. There was a um, excuse me, there was a listing, a few listings, but um, um, I had a good friend order one, and he received some damaged tranks. Now this is the most um famous. It's probably the scene he's most famous for. Mayo's trying to get a shot of the, his Lightning McQueen's bolt. And then he's like, <coughs> excuse me, hey, you're blocking the shot. And then McQueen's like, hey, Chuck, get out of the shot. And uh, Chuck, he's like, I, we quit with the one-man show. I don't, It doesn't quite go down like that. But that's my horrible, horrible reenactment of it. Let me drop something off my recording table as always. I have a lot of stuff planned. <coughs> Let's take a look at Chuck himself. He is a red pity and he has a little tool gun. He is the, um, I believe this is called the short pity. Yeah, the short pity. He's got the, um, uh, 95 on the top. And he has a, also a little, a different Rusty's logo. And a 95 over here. He has none of the original Rusty's logos. Um, like uh, this logo right here. <coughs> Excuse me. He has a little lightning bolt up top. He needs the same model as quite a few other pitties, such as, uh, what's an example? Uh, I have one over here. Here is the spare pity. I mean, excuse me, the Vitaline pity. Um, there's also. Oh, here he is, uh, an Easy Idol Pity, um, there's a few others, uh, Luke, Luke Puddle Work, uh, this guy right here, I don't remember his name, I don't, uh, I knocked more stuff off the table, this guy right here, there's a lot of pities with that, and I did actually order a Bumper Safe Pity, um, the short Bumper Safe Pity, um, from China, um, like, four months ago, and it still hasn't even been shipped. We have contacted eBay, and, um, we hope to get that soon. 
Now, here in this little toolbox thing, it's definitely um, probably the most boring toolbox. It's just painted red and has one simple 95 on the side. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, and remember to leave a comment if you want to be featured in my Q&A. If you want to.